वेलकम टू आर पी एस ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री पोर्शन ऑफ योर टेक्सट बुक मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल स्टडी एलिमेंट्स अकरेंस ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स देर फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज displacement reaction reactivity series of metals and uses of metals and non metals we see different objects around us every time all these objects are made up of different materials or substances all these objects comprise of one or more pure substances called elements an element is a pure substance which cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical means an element consists of similar tiny particles called atoms hydrogen oxygen iron gold silver aluminum and carbon are some examples of elements you might be familiar with There are total 118 elements known till now. Most of these elements are naturally occurring while some have been prepared artificially in labs. Based on their atomic number, these elements have been arranged in tabular form called periodic table. The image here shows a modern periodic table. The first periodic table was devised by a Russian chemist named Dmitry Mendeleev in 1869. On the basis of their physical and chemical properties, a French scientist named Antoine Lavoisier classified elements into two groups as metals and non-metals. Examples of metals include iron, potassium, calcium, gold, aluminum, mercury. Whereas carbon, oxygen, sulfur, nitrogen, phosphorus and iodine are some examples of non metals naturally metals are found in combined state as oxides sulfides carbonates and silicates some metals are less reactive such as gold silver and platinum these metals are found in their native or free state An element is said to be in a native state when it occurs chemically uncombined in nature. Metals are found with impurities in the earth's crust and are known as minerals. Metals are obtained by removing these impurities. Minerals from which metals can be extracted profitably and economically are called ores. hematite bauxite and zincite are some examples of ores let us discuss the occurrence of non metals generally non metals occur in combined state in nature some non metals such as helium neon argon krypton and xenon are found in free states in nature they are called inert or noble gases non metals like oxygen nitrogen carbon sulfur hydrogen occur both in free state as well as the combined state there are some elements which cannot be categorized as metals or non metals such elements are called metalloids metalloids possess some properties of both 
metals and non-metals. Examples of metalloids include silicon, boron, arsenic, antimony and germanium. In this chapter, we will differentiate between metals and non-metals on the basis of their physical and chemical properties. Physical properties of elements include appearance, ductility, malleability, sonority, electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, brittleness, hardness and the physical state. Chemical properties include reaction with oxygen, reaction with water, reaction with dilute acids and reaction of elements with bases. That was all for today's class. Thank you.